pick up a shovel. There are 270 diamonds in this Super Bowl championship ring. How many of them do you think were laying on the ground? How many of them had to be dug for, polished, washed, rinsed, changed? Pick up a shovel. I could spend the rest of the day talking to you about Super Bowl caliber players in the NFL who were unwilling to work. Brian could tell you a number of stories of employees who had the greatest potential who were unwilling to work. Do yourself a favor, pick up a shovel. Dig. Dig for your diamonds. Part of picking up a shovel is learning how to recognize distractions. Learn how to recognize distractions. Who are distractions? What are distractions? When are certain things a distraction? Hey, I'm getting ready to go to Vegas, okay? I want that distraction in my life, okay? What are distractions? And ask yourself, more importantly, if you don't do the other ones, why are certain things distractions? Why is this a distraction for me? Ask yourself that, because that's where you'll build. That's where you'll create. That's where you will grow as an individual, as an employee, as a friend, as a lover. Why is this a distraction? Learn how to identify those. Especially after you've written down your goals and you recognize distractions, you'll start to say, hey, wait a second. This doesn't help me get 1.5 million monthly FARs. I don't even know what FARs are. <laughs> but once you recognize distractions, you may be in a meeting with somebody. You may be getting that eighth cup of coffee in the morning. That's a distraction. You don't need it. Learn how to recognize distractions. With picking up a shovel and learning how to recognize distractions, also understand that you have to find what works for you. It looks different, right? Peyton Manning is one of the greatest preparers I have ever played with. And I can tell you for a fact, his preparation looks different than anybody else in that locker room. For me, I used to hate sitting in meetings, hate meetings. I would daydream. I would miss important information, not only to my own success, but to the team's success. So I had to figure out that I had to take notes. And I went from making four mistakes a game to four mistakes a year. It looks different for me. It looks different for me the way I prepare. Embrace that. Enjoy that because that's what makes you you. That's the handle to your shovel. It looks different for everybody else. Now I want to show you something, tell you, share with you something that I think uh, for sure helped me win the Super Bowl. It's called Stand Up and Shake It Out. So stand up right now, shake it out a little bit, shoulders, hips. Some of y'all got that lunch already sitting in there. There you go. Have a seat, have a seat. Believe in yourself. Pick up a shovel. I want to talk to you about the third aspect that I'd like to share with you today. Learn how to invest your time. Learn how to invest your money. Anybody ever heard that song, uh, We Are the Champions? Yeah, me too. It's one of my favorite songs now. I played it on the way in. I got the remix by Tiesto. It's off the chain. But I must have heard that song a thousand times in my life. But after winning the Super Bowl, one line stood out more than any other. One line I had never heard. No time for losers. No time for losers. We are the champions of the world. Not everyone is worth your time. Not everyone is worth your time. That may be an employee. That may be a friend outside of work. That may be an in-law. Some of you married people. Not everyone is worth your time. Learn how to invest your time to achieve your goals, right? And your time is your greatest asset. Maximize your time. For some people, learning how to invest your time may mean waking up a little earlier, staying a little later. Learn how to invest your time. 
We talked about what works for you. Learn what that means for you. One of the greatest ways, if you're, if you're looking for a way to invest your time, service. If you can invest your time serving other people with it, when it brings you no direct benefit, you are investing your time. You got a Saturday morning off, a Sunday morning off. Go to the Denver Rescue Mission. Call your nephew. Help your brother or sister who have kids. Trust me, they need your help. Service is a great way to invest your time. And behind investing your time, learn how to invest your money. Is there anyone under 25 here? Did you know that if you invest $100 before 25, that it's $30,000 when you're 65? Right? $100 invested before 25 is 30000 when you're 65. Learn how to invest your money. Learn how to invest your money. Learn terms like equity, leverage, compound interest, one of my favorite couplings of words. <laughs> and if you're over 25, there's a simple thing I say. Own what you buy. Own what you buy. Anybody got an iPhone? Raise your hand. All right. Raise your hand if you have iPhone, Apple stock. Good. Some of y'all missing out. Anybody go to Starbucks? Anybody got Starbucks stock? Good for you. You start to see where I'm going with this. If you, if you buy something, make sure you own it. Talk to Brian, get some, get some stock options. I'm sure he's got some. You're welcome, by the way. There you go, yeah, yeah. We're going to be pointing at the goals again. <laughs> own what you buy. Own what you buy. Empower yourself. You've learned how to invest your time. Now invest your money. Empower yourself. Create a change, a difference, a separation from you and others by owning what you buy. Okay? Lastly, my favorite, celebrate every win. Celebrate every win. There's no problem winning. I was just talking to Brooke earlier. Y'all are smashing it. Congratulations. There's no problem winning. There's no problem winning, right? Celebrate every win. And some wins are going to be small, right? I had a tuna salad yesterday. That was a win. <laughs> OK? Now let me give you an example. I'll tell you three things I did this morning, and you tell me if there's a difference. Woke up. Got my kids breakfast, came here to speak to y'all. That's one person. Man, I woke up. Woo! Some people didn't get to wake up today. Man, I got to spend some awesome time with my kids, man. Got them fed, got my son to school, and then, man, I got fresh to death and I came to speak to y'all. Is there a difference? Celebrate every win. There aren't enough of them. Sometimes wins are tough to see. Super Bowl 50 championship year, we had five losses. But when even in a loss, you can find wins. Give gratitude. What are you thankful for? Right? What in this loss, what in this win are you thankful for? What despite this loss are you thankful for? Some of you came from other jobs. I bet you're thankful you left that place. Right? Celebrate every win. And part of celebrating every win also comes from forgiving yourself. Forgive yourself. Brian, have you made a mistake ever? <laughs> you don't say. I'm going to search that shoe podcast, though. Right? I, I've made mistakes, right? Forgive yourself. Do yourself a favor. Forgive yourself the mistakes you make. Don't do them again, but forgive yourself. And the last part about celebrating every win, I mean, I, will, I really want to know, do you know what you sound like when you're celebrating a win? Do you? Do you know what it sounds like in your life for you when you've believed in yourself, picked up a shovel, invested your time and your money? Do you know what it sounds like? For me, I got a few things. Woo! Oh, yeah! Rock and roll, man! Sounds different, doesn't it? There'll be times I was at practice I did not want to practice. Y'all think Von Miller's awesome. He's a great dude. Try practicing against him every day. 
okay? <laughs> Some days off, PTO. Of course, Kubiak didn't believe in PTO. But so I come to practice, woo, all right! Man, we at practice. And even some of y'all smiling right now. You know, I just told you I didn't want to practice. But now where are we mentally, right? We've gone above. We've gone further. We will achieve. Find out what you sound like when you celebrate. We had, we had bus three, Super Bowl 50 year. The only rule on bus three was there was no rookies on bus three. Rookies ask too many questions. Y'all know new employees. He's trying to get your coffee, and they want to have every single conversation under the sun, right? I'll tell you one thing. Peyton Manning is one of the ter most terrible singers you've ever heard. But it doesn't matter, because when we win, he sings, right? Can't tell you what some of the other guys do when they celebrate, but I can tell you there's a lot of music, a lot of dancing. What's your music? What's your dance? Huh? Figure this out. Celebrate every win. There aren't enough of them.